Hey y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna do this leave-in conditioner and just saturate my hair with it as much as I possibly can, getting all into the scalp and every other aspect of things. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just part my hair. I tend to part my hair because I like the way that it helps me be more organized. And then so y'all can see what I'm talking about. I went ahead and just showed you a little piece right there. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and show you what I use, which is the Murray's Beeswax Natural Lock Molding Paste. My cousin put me on with this and ever since, I actually enjoy using this. So this is gonna be a product review as well. And I will say I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because when I use it, I was like, yes, this is it. Normally they flake up on my hair and my scalp, but this right here actually does the job and it holds like it's supposed to. I don't use a blow dryer. I tend to just let it air dry overnight and it does what it needs to do. So since I got it parted how I wanted it to be parted, I went ahead and put a little bit of the beeswax on there and I went ahead and just started twisting it. I started pinching it at the top because I tend to, for this lock in particular, it decides that it likes to unravel when it gets ready. So to better suit the situation that it likes to be in, I started pinching it at the top and twisting it at the bottom. And when I feel like it's twisted how I want it to be twisted at the top, I start just holding it more and twisting it more at the bottom. See, you see what I'm talking about? I got it twisted how I want it to be twisted, so now I'm gonna just go ahead and twist it some more at the bottom. So since I have it to my liking, as you can see, it looks a whole lot better than it did before. I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap it. I pinch it at the top, well, at the root, and then I wrap it around like a bantu knot. And when I do that, I use a duck clip to keep it in place. And that actually does the job. This is my first time doing this, but this really worked for me, and I hope it works for y'all. So now I'm going to go ahead with the second one. This one is a little bit more neat with the parts than the first one, so I don't have to do as much. So with that being said, I'm going to still maybe do some more. I don't remember what I did in here, but yeah, I parted it a little bit. And, and I had got it to how I liked it in regards to the neatness of the part. So once I got it how I wanted to, I went ahead and just showed y'all the method that I used for this part. Then I used both of my palms, which is, I think it's called the palm method. And I just twisted my locks like that. So with this third lock, I'm gonna show you a third method, which is for when you have hair that is not actually locked in with the lock. So what I went ahead and did was wrap it around and when I wrapped it around, I just kept it, kept on wrapping it around the actual lock until it was at the end. And once I do that, I use my crochet needle. And when I do that, I just crochet that piece that into the lock. Just to make sure I don't leave this part out, when I was putting the hair into the needle, I was also wrapping it around to make sure that it just didn't come out when I was pushing the hair into my lock. And I know it may not be able to see it, but I actually was doing that.
and voila there we go that's the finished result for that method so once i complete this part of it i went ahead and did the root part which is just pinching the root and making sure that that's just as secure as the rest of the lock So since we're on the next lock, I'm going to go ahead and show you the regular method that everybody else uses for just a regular, regular lock, which is the palm method. And I went ahead and did it kind of fast because it's really simple. You just put the lock in between your fingers and you twist. So for my last lock that I'm going to show you, which is the same type of method as before, but it's not with as much hair, I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it at the end like I did before and use the needle that I have and wrap that hair around that needle and just put that hair into the lock to make sure that it's secure. Once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and just twist it like I normally do with the palm method and then I'm good to go. I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed showing you guys. Um, and after this, I'm going to go ahead and show you the finished result. Stay blessed. <laughs>